Hello, my name is Bart Campbell. I'm your advanced level rap facilitator coming to you from Toronto, Canada. I rap to live well. I rap to feel well, and I rap to function well. Yes, that's my rap story, or at least a part of it. And the story of many others who have taken the rap program and applied its principles during their life to give them control over their life and control over their wellness. Thanks and shout out to Mary Ellen Copeland and friends for creating this awesome program more than 20 years ago that has changed numerous life. If you're just tu tuning in, check out all my other videos that from one to eight that gives you a breakdown of the full rap program to kind of pique your interest so you can also sign up for rap and take a program in an area close to you. And if not, you can jump on the Copeland website and search out and see when they have programs that are running online so you can be engaged online. So in my last video, or rap take eight, I promised that I'd come back to you with a book. And that book was entitled Balance Your Mood. And I was all excited and ready to go. The book, I, I showed you a copy of the cover uh, to tease a little bit. And of course, uh, my editor says to me, Bart, there's another book that you have sitting here waiting to be published. That's the backstory. You can't publish Balance Your Mood unless you publish that book when you put your heart in it. I'm like, ah, Randy, but that 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 book, you know, it's it's an it was an evolution from my journaling and my peer support work that I do, a way to share some of my story in more depth with other folks. And he's like, but yes, that's that's the backstory. You need to know what you've been through, some of the things that you've uh, accomplished, and then how you got over to this expert or rather academic style of balancing your mood. And the debate went back and forth between him and I. And eventually he just decided to publish the book <laughs> and send me the link on Amazon one day. And oh my goodness, like, of course, the book is very detailed in the sense that it captures the first 40 years of my life and it's a memoir. And so from zero to 17, that was the most tumultuous time in my life. And so it captures great details. Uh, the rest from 18 to 40 uh, kind of just gives you highlights and snippets and summaries of some of the things that have gone through. And so it turned out really beautiful. And I'm like, whoa, I'm going to promote this. But then it's pandemic. And so we couldn't do any mass uh, book tour promotion or anything like that. And folks have been calling uh, since I've done my last video saying, Bert, where's the book that you promised? Where's the book that you promised? Or at least do something. Don't just kind of leave it with nothing for us to tune into at least once or twice a month. And so I'm here to do a soft launch in the book. So if you purchase a book already, absolutely fantastic choice. This book is very inspirational, although it's very heavy for some folks. And it's very motivational and when you really get into the meat and potato of the book, you see that anything you put your heart into results into great success. So this is what it looks like. My book, when you put your heart in it, it's on Amazon. So I can uh, put up the link so you can see what link to click on uh, to find it on Amazon. And just to kind of, I'm not even sure how you'd normally do a, a book tour per se, um, and what you cover off of the book tour and from the folks that I've talked to, you kind of just have a Q&A about the book and people ask questions and so forth and so on. So, so I want to kind of just uh, share how the book is broken down. You know, so of course, it, it's, it's comprised of nine chapters. And in between each chapter, there's a positive uh, quote that I personally have crafted throughout the years as I was going uh, through my changes and struggles and trials and success. But the quote that starts off the book is a quote that I grew up with that I heard from my grandmother and amongst persons in school. So it, it, it says the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward through the night. And that 
told me from way back when that I got to really put my muscles and my heart and my head into things that I was doing and don't allow distraction. No need for distraction. So you'll, you'll find really nice positive quotes like, like, like this throughout the book. Uh, when you when you when you get your copy and pick up your copy of the book, so just to read one of my original quote uh, in your hearing as you're as, as you're waiting and and watching, one of my original quotes says, "Life is what you desire to become. Choose the right attitude." I can tell you there was numerous times in my life that was just my attitude that gets me across whatever I was feeling, dealing with, or whatever I was involved in. And so attitude plays a big part. I saw another quote that I used to have on my office uh, 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 many years ago that says, life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. You're in charge of your attitude. And so though the attitude piece of worked magic for me. And the quotes go on and on. The book ends with some accolades or some testimonials, rather. People just kind of saying things about their, their experience that they've had with me, especially during uh, workshops that I've facilitated or projects that I've worked on or uh, training that I've done, motivational speaking that I've done. So uh, folks have been very kind, and so I capture some of that inside the book. I have some things in there uh, in terms of personal affirmation. So when you break down the book, it's not just Bart's struggles and Bart's trials and Bart's tribulation, but there's some of Bart's quotes, that he, some of Bart's accolades, some of Bart's successes, and some of Bart's challenges, of course, both with mental health and otherwise. And so I would encourage you when you pick up your copy uh, to get what you want out of it. You might be looking to encourage a friend. You might be looking to encourage yourself. You might be looking to start the conversation, open dialogue about mental health and wellness. But the one thing that's important for you to understand is that you are the master of your own destiny. destiny. Tomorrow is not promised to, to us. And so yesterday is a memory. But today is an opportunity, and what you do with your opportunity becomes your future and becomes the success that you want or the failure. It's always your choice. So again, pick up a copy of the book. Uh, beautiful cover. For those of, of you that, uh, that are intimately familiar with me, you'll notice that the cover is, uh, is overlooking the river uh, in Hadley Gap, St. Thomas. So when I'm at my cottage in St. Thomas, through the cottage, my bedroom window, this is what I'm looking at. Beautiful. I'm kind of like on top of a mountain looking down in a valley across the river. I've been looking at this view ever since I was a little child. It's one of the, the, the most wonderful feeling to have to look down in that valley. And it's right across the book. And of course, I couldn't leave out my Canadian heritage. So you'll see the Canadian fl uh, flag or the color, or the design of the Canadian flag exploding on the back of the book. Uh, just to really highlight that some of my greatest success and some of the foundations for the kind of life that I live now was established in Canada. Um, because I've lived here for more than I've lived in Jamaica. I came when I was 17 and now I'm 51. So... I've, I've, I've been around for a little while. So I've gone on long and I've said lots of things. Hopefully you'll pick up a copy of the book. I'll, I'm going to, like I said, share the link. And if you have questions, uh, please feel free to, to email me, contact me. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe and share so we can get more. And as soon as the place is fully open and we can have an official book tour, for those of you that bought books already, thanks uh, to you uh, really, because it's been out since about April. And I think um, so far I've sold almost 200 copies. So we're, we're doing quite well. My story is out there. Difficult story, but it, it, it's, it's really inspiring for those. That's inspiring for, and for those that are a little bit triggered, I apologize. It's not intended to make anyone look bad or anything like that, but it's an experience sometimes that we all need to have. So once again, thank you for tuning in. One love. When you put your heart